Hello YouTube, this is going to be my review of this Vizio 50 inch P-Series 4K TV. This is actually my second attempt. My first video was flagged for copyright because I showed a few seconds of a 4K video on YouTube. And so because of that copyright violation, I can't show that. So I'm going to reshoot this. This is going to be a much shorter review. And I'm going to leave some stuff out that, uh, that I chopped before. But anyway, to start, this is the remote that goes to this TV. If you look up at the top there, you can see it's got some quick buttons for Amazon, Netflix, and, and iHeartRadio. Uh, this right here is actually the, for the VIA apps, as it's called. And uh, just in very quick passing, I will mention uh, down there in that second shelf, I bought a, a Sony AV receiver. Um, very, very disappointed in it, uh, just quickly because it will only play on the regular TV when I'm using the VIA apps, which as you'll see in a minute is, is YouTube and Amazon and all the other things. If you use Netflix, all that stuff is on there. It will not work if you use the TV speakers. So um, for that, I'm very disappointed in it. And the USB on it won't play unless it's a Sony Walkman. So uh, for those reasons, I'm, I'm going to send the thing back and get rid of it. So I'm just going to leave it out of the review after that. But I'll be messing with it for just a minute, just so you know what I'm doing. But anyway, if you look at the TV here, you can see that it has a very, very, very thin bezel around it. So the majority of this thing is, is pure screen. I'll turn it on here, and if you look over there on the little bottom left, you see a little light come on. That's showing you the power's on. That's the little symbol there for the VIA apps and Vizio, I suppose. And then see so you get your little little bar up there at the top. And so here it is. It's, it's already setting on a show that, that I was playing earlier. And just to show you, this is just this is regular TV. Here, let me uh I just hit play here. The classic tale of a beautiful princess, her charming prince, and a one hundred year curse. And that is playing is through that EV receiver down Valley there. Theater, accompanied by the Fort Worth Symphony Orchestra. So sounds and pretty good. Music composed by Tchaikovsky. This performance is some but that's the that's the TV uh, we use Uver so that's that but let me show you here that um, if I if I hit this via app right here you see right down here at the bottom of the TV it shows all the apps you can see I've got it on YouTube and there's Amazon right there Netflix bunch of Yahoo stuff and other other things that I've I've added some of this stuff so you can you can add quite a few channels. There's Crackle, Flickr. But anyway, my big one is, is YouTube. And so if I if I pop this on here, see how quick it comes up. Right there's your splash screen that fast. Right there. I'm I'm into videos right there. And uh, you know, if I go down to, to my uploads, let's just say, just keep this simple. And you can see there's the, the unboxing of the Sony AV receiver I just did that I just literally put up 39 minutes ago, as you can see. And so if I if I play a little bit of that, I'm going to show you something here. This is the problem. As you hear, there's no sound coming from that TV. And that's because... On these apps, that receiver down there, and that's again, that's one reason why I really don't like it and want to just get rid of it and send it back and get something else. It will not play sound. The the trick to it is, is I've got to go here and I've got to turn on the TV speakers. Now that automatically turns off the AV box down there. And it plays the video with sound. So to any of those VIA apps I just showed you and all of them that's on there, they, it will only play through the TV speakers with that AV receiver. So I'm really, really disappointed in that. I have to watch regular TV or recorded TV that I've watched in order to use that. But um, anyway, I tried to show some 4K video on my first one and I got a copyright infringement notice. So I can't show you any 4K video, but I'm shooting this at 1080p at 30 frames a second. And if you look at this, I mean, looks looks pretty good. Looks real good, in fact, to me. 
Um, hopefully it's coming through on this video. But uh, if if you go and and let's see, let me let me just exit out of that. I'll show you right quick again. If I hit my apps, I can go over to Amazon. And the same thing, of course, we've got got various things on Amazon here. And so you can see, it takes it a few seconds to load up. But versus Roku, if you look at the the Roku that I did earlier, uh, to get the YouTube up was literally about a minute and a half. So uh, this is this is quite different. But uh, here I'll just show you. Going to going to the watch list here. And um, picking the brains an old cartoon, and you know it, it kind of looks like an old cartoon. So not really going to show that. Nothing nothing too exciting here. My old stuff, Walking Dead, which I'm definitely not into. So let's just go back. I've been kind of looking at one of these here just for a second, just to test this. So you can see it's got a spool up. And there you go. So it starts out kind of choppy, actually. I guess it's because it's so old on this TV, but... And it takes it a few seconds or so, and it usually will jump in better and show. So, hope I don't get no copyright infringement on that, so I'll go ahead and exit off of that. Um, so, you know, and another way to get to Amazon, of course, once I'm here, if I just hit that Amazon button, then it just pops that up. So, of course, that's how that works. And if I go back to the VS stuff, you know, I can go back to to YouTube or anything that I want. And again, I'm really impressed with how fast YouTube comes up. So hopefully you can see everything here and you can see that, um, like I said, this thing's got a really, really thin bezel around it. And so it, it's, it, it's really immersive, especially if you watch the 4K stuff, which again, I can't show you because of copyright infringements. But uh, you have to take my word for it. It's, it's really, really nice. So with that, that's, that's the review I'm going to put out. If you've got any questions or any, any thoughts or anything, just let me know. Put them in the comments. And uh, if there's something I can test, I don't have any up-to-date game systems or anything like that, so I can't test that. But if there's something that, that I can do, then just let me know, and, and I'll make a video of it and, and show you. So thanks for watching.